For the last two days, we've been telling you about a contractor accused of taking thousands of dollars for home repairs and then disappearing before finishing the job. Tonight, consumer reporter Steve Sprasia takes us on a journey to find the owner of that business. The Krieger family hired CMC Flooring Enterprises to repair their home following a fire. The contractor's Facebook page has several advertisements for the business, including this one that says, this is where the magic happens. But when you go to the address listed, you'll find an abandoned building. Well, this doesn't look good here. Let's go around the other side. If you look inside, it doesn't look like this has been occupied in a while. There's all kinds of material scattered on the floor, stuff thrown, on, uh, pulled off the walls and so forth. This place looks as vacant as could be. Calling the company's listed phone number doesn't help either. The number you dial is not in service at this time. Thank you for calling. A public record search lists several different addresses for the owner. One was inside this gated community, which we didn't have access to. Another listed this private home and an apartment. No luck. The Krieger family last saw the contractor at their home back in January, and according to the insurance company, he only completed 25% of the work before disappearing. The repairs were outlined in four different contracts that totaled $34,000, which the family says was paid to CMC by certified check. Now, the family is struggling to repair the house on their own. Why do people have to do things like this to other people? It's, it's not fair. I mean, they took advantage of our situation as if it wasn't already bad enough that we lost everything that we ever had. Now, we're going to continue to try and look for this contractor. In the meantime, the family has filed complaints with the Attorney General's Office, the North Carolina Contractors Licensing Board, as well as the Fraud Bureau of the Department of Insurance. Getting answers for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprasher. All right, Steve, thank you. And CBS 17 wants to help you, too. If there's something you want to get answers about, just let us know. Call the newsroom at 919-835-NEWS or go ahead and send an email to investigates at cbs17.com.